Hello everyone, this is Varun Maharati, Department of Cyber Security, Institute of Aeronautica Engineering. Today, I am going to discuss about the question bank discussion on hashing and types. Hashing and types. So generally hashing is, what is meant by hashing? So what is meant by indexing? So index is a mechanism, indexing is a mechanism to speed up the accessing of the database, to speed up the accessing of the database. So hashing is nothing but what? Hashing is a bucket is unit of storage containing so hashing is also one type of accessing mechanism with the help of using buckets the help of using buckets so a bucket is nothing but what it is a unit of storage containing one or more records one or more records a bucket is typically a disk block so a bucket is nothing but what typically a disk block in a hash file organization we obtain the bucket of record we obtain the bucket of record directly from its search key value using hash function. So buckets are associated with buckets are associated with what? Search key values. Buckets are associated with what? Search key values. So hash function H is a function from the set of all search key values K to the set of all bucket addresses B. Set of all addresses B. So hash function is used to locate the records for access, insertion as well as deletion. So hash function is used to locating the records for accessing the data, insertion of the data, as well as deletion of the data. So records with the different search key values, records with the different search key values may be mapped to the same bucket, may be mapped to the same bucket. Thus, entire bucket has to be searched sequentially to locate a record. Searched sequentially to locate a record. So hashing is a mechanism to access the data to perform the insertion operations with the help of search key values along with the hash function along with the hash function so has example of hash file organization so hash file organization of instructor file using department name as a key see if you are in the next slide and there are 10 buckets actually there are 10 buckets actually the binary representation of ith character is assumed to be the integer ith character is assumed to be the Integer. So here the slide indicates that what example of file organization. So bucket 0 contains no values, bucket 1 contains 1 value, bucket 2 contains 2 value. So each and every bucket is assigned with such key values under their data. So bucket is nothing but what storage containing. So it displays 3, it displays 2, it displays only 1, it displays what 3 and it displays 0. So, like the way each and every bucket has its own values along with the search key values. So, search key values. So, that is what we mentioned here. So, from that, hash function returns, hash function returns the sum of the binary representation, sum of the binary representation of the characters modulo 10, of the characters modulo 10. So, h of music equals to 1. That means from this, the music, the music from only one one bucket so the music value is contained in only one bucket so that is nothing but h of music equal to one and h of physics equal to three h of physics equals to three means it indicates that what the three buckets the where it is having bucket three so the physics values are stored in bucket three and the music values are stored in bucket one and and has function history of so has function of history Will be located at what two hash function history is located at what two so history will be located in what bucket two and similarly electrical engineering will be located at bucket three so electrical engineering will be located at bucket three so like the way each and every bucket having its own value so finance is what fourth bucket and biology is what fifth bucket and this computer science is what in sixth bucket so each and every bucket has its own files organization with the help of the search key values. So here, has file organization of instructor file using the department name as a key, as a key. So has functions. So the, there are different types of has functions are there. But in the worst case, the functions are mapped with the search key values to the same bucket. So all the search key values are mapped to the same bucket. So that is the worst case. The access is time proportional to the number of search key values in the file. 
the access is the access time is proportional to the number of search key values in the file number of search key values in the file so an ideal hash function e is uniform that is each bucket is assigned to the same number of search key values from the set of all possible values so ideal hash function is uniform that is each bucket is assigned to the same number same number so if, if it is a bucket then it is having what assigned with the same number of search key values same number of search key values if it contains three values then the same number of search key values are assigned then it is a uniform and the ideal hash function is random so each bucket will have the same number of records assigned to its irrespective of the actual distribution of search key values in the file so there is no need there is no uh, no need to assign the same number of search key values of the same number of values same number of search key values with the same number of values so typical hash functions perform computation on the internal binary representation of the search key so typical hash hash functions perform computation on the internal binary representation of the search key for example for a string search key the binary representation of all the characters of all the characters in the string could be added on the sum modulo the number of buckets could be written number of buckets could be written so that means based on the number of buckets based on the number of search key values it returns the values it returns the values so how to handle the bucket overflows so bucket overflow can occur because of insufficient buckets because of insufficient buckets so there is nothing but more number of values more number of values but in the less number of buckets less number of buckets are there so skew in distribution of records this can occur due to two reasons so skew in distribution of our records that is occur in two reasons one is what multiple records have same search key value multiple records have same search key value susan has function produces non uniform distribution key values susan has function produces what non uniform distribution of key values so non uniform distribution of key values means the key values are in ascending order so key values are ascending order that will be distributed across that, that will be randomly distributed across to all buckets across to all buckets so although the probability of bucket overflow probability of bucket overflow can be reduced by creating more number of buckets automatically it reduces it and it cannot be eliminated it is handled by using overflow buckets it is uh, it is handled by using overflow of the buckets so we need to create more number of buckets to more number of buckets more number of buckets to inserting more number of values inserting more number of values so that is, that is the way of uh, handling that bucket overflows and bucket overflows so handling of bucket overflows here the overflow chaining overflow chaining the overflow buckets of a given bucket are chained together in a linked list the overflow of the buckets of a given bucket is uh, identified as chained link identified as chained link that is in a linked list so that our scheme is called as what closed hashing our scheme is called as what closed hashing an alternative called open hashing an alternative called open hashing which does not use overflow buckets which does not use overflow bucket and is not suitable for database applications also and it is uh, not is suitable for database application also so we can have closed hashing with the linked list representation but in the open hashing it does not use any overflow buckets so bucket zero bucket one has a chaining methodology that is chained together as a linked list chained together as a linked list that indicates that what overflow buckets for bucket one overflow buckets for bucket one we we have created more number of buckets we have created more number of buckets so hash indices that is nothing but hash index so hashing can be used not only for file organization so hashing concept cannot be used for only file organization but also for index structure creation so index structure creation so all the values will be entered into the index as a index entries as an index entry so creating that index is also an efficient way so that is also possible by hash file organization the hash 
hashing function. So hash index organizes the search keys. Hash index organizes the search keys with their associated record pointers. So search keys key indicates as well as associated pointers p indicates those two. Those two are associated with and they are entered into the file structure. Has file structure. So h of k comma p that indicates what search key with the pointer associated with the has function search key pointer associated with the has function and this is frankly speaking has indexes are always secondary indices has indexes are always secondary indices if the file itself is organized using hashing if the file is itself it is organized using hashing a separate primary has index a separate primary has index on it using the same search key on it using the same search key is unnecessary is unnecessary however we use the term has index to refer to both secondary index structures under has organized files secondary index structure under has organized files so those two will be displayed we use the term has index to refer both secondary index structure under has organized files so example of hash index example of hash index so so in this uh, we already said that what hash the keys or key value is associated with the pointer associated with the hash function so that organizes each and every buckets organizes with the each and every bucket so bucket 0 contains what the search key value 76766 bucket 1 contains what the two search key values here two search key values only one search key value and here one search key value, here also one search key value, here no search key values, and here two search key values, and this is the secondary index, secondary index that were created for the hashing, and here only one index, and here two search key values. So all the buckets will be filled up with the search key values, and these search key values k uh, associated with the pointers, associated with the pointers that pointed to the specific value of the data block this is all about the data block this is all about the data block and it shows the search key the search key is pointed to the the search key is pointed to the particular value from the data block and here bucket 1 is also having the two values so each value is pointed to the each value is pointed to the next pointed to the next block and each value is pointed to the next block so here bucket 2 is also having one search key and it is pointed to itself what, what the value it is containing and uh, bucket 3 is also having a search key which is pointed to the data of the data block and similarly bucket 5 also having primary as well as secondary. So bucket 5 contains what primary hash index and the secondary hash index. So it is pointed whenever it is located for the C search key it is pointed to the primary secondary index and from that secondary index it is pointed to the data from the data block pointed from the data block and similarly the same value again the same value is pointed to the secondary index and the secondary index to data block and similarly bucket 6 also directly pointed to the data of the data block and the bucket 7 also having two search key values it is pointed to the data of the data blocks so this is the way of uh, organizing the Values organizing the data in the hash, hash file organization. And the deficiencies of static hashing. So there are two types of hashing. One is what static hashing and second one is what dynamic hashing. But in the static hashing, the function h maps search key values to the fixed set of B. So search key values are set with the fixed set of B. That means the number of assigned number of assigned search key values number of assigned search key values are associated with the number of buckets number of buckets number of associated with the number of buckets and that bucket addresses data was gross or shrink with me data basis are gross or shrink with me and if infinite number of buckets is too small if infinite number of buckets is too small and the file grows automatically the performance will degrade due to too much overflows too much more flows and if space is allocated for anticipated growth a significant amount of space will be wasted so there is a two types of choices if bucket size is if bucket size is 
small then we need to require more number of buckets we need to require more number of buckets if bucket if bucket is not if bucket is more enough then the remaining space will be wasted remaining space will be wasted so these two cases are the database strings and again space will be wasted so for this one solution is what periodic reorganization of the file with a new has function so for these two for these two problems we have a solution called periodic reorganization of your file with a new has function for that is an expensive and disrupt normal operations also so that is uh, that solution is expensive and disrupt uh, normal operations also for this better solution allow the number of buckets to be modified dynamically allow the number of buckets to be modified dynamically so for this dynamic hashing so that is good for database that grows on strings in size allows the hash function to be modified dynamically so allocating more number of buckets at the time of uh, in insertion of the values and comparison of ordered indexing and hashing compared comparison of ordered indexing and hashing so the comparisons so indexing and hashing so it is a cost of periodic reorganization and relatively frequency of insertion and deletion whenever you want to insert the values automatically you require more number of buckets or more number of indexes and it is is it desirable to optimize average access time at the expense of worst case access time so for this expected type of query so what is it hashing is generally better at retrieving records having a specified value of the key having specified value of the key if range queries are common if range if you given the range of queries are common ordered indices are to be preferred in practice ordered indices are to be preferred in practice so postgresql this is one type of sql supports what hash indices but it uh, discourages use due to poor performance discourages use due to poor performance but oracle supports static hash file organization so oracle supports what static hash organization but not hash indices sql support supports only b trace so it supports only hash file organization but not hash indices but sql server supports only b plus trace bitmap indices these are a special type of index designed for what efficient querying on multiple keys efficient querying on multiple keys recording in a relation are assumed to be numbered sequentially from say 0 to given numbers so that is nothing but it is a simple array of bits simple array of bits so it is applicable on attributes that take a relatively small number of distinct values example gender country state for all this for all this it takes it creates a bitmap indices so it is accounting of uh, all the bitmap indices and it's the simplest form of bitmap index on attribute as a bitmap for each value of the attribute so creating a bitmaps so bitmaps for gender male bitmaps for uh, gender female for this male it is created l1 and for this female it is created as l2 for all this we created bitmaps in index levels bitmap index levels and bitmap indices are useful for queries on multiple attributes not particularly useful for single attributes and the queries are answered using bitmap operations what insertion union implementation so each operation takes two bitmaps of the same size and applies the operation on corresponding bits to get the result map get the result bitmap so these are the two result bitmaps so performing and operation on these two bitmaps and get the result bitmap performing or operation on these two bitmaps and get the result bitmap and performing not operation on this bitmap a result will get bitmap so here like that the bitmap results will uh, applied on intersection union and complementation operations and bitmap indices generally are very small compared with the relation size so example if record is 100 bytes if the record of the file is 100 bytes space for a single bitmap is 1 by 800 of space used by the relation 1 by 800 of space by the relation if the number of distinct attribute values is h bitmap is only 1% of relational size so this is all about to hashing and to types so once again we have the topics which we discussed in this session so we discussed in this session as what hash functions we are creating what is the indexing mechanism what is the hashing mechanism so what type of buckets are created so what is the indexing and what is the hashing 
So how we can create the indexes to speed up the accessing of the data. So how we are going to organize the files in hash function. So creating more number of buckets and creating search key values for the accessing of the data. And for this hash functions, how we are going to use the hash functions, uniform functions and random functions and handling bucket overflows. So creating more number of buckets dash uh, static and dynamically. So handling of this bucket overflows. The hash indexes will be created. So example of hash indexes, creating more number of buckets, creating more number of values, creating secondary indexes also for the buckets and the deficiencies, difference between static hashing and dynamic hashing. So comparisons of ordered indexing and hashing. So bitmap indices, these are all we discussed in this session. So this is all about the hashing and the types. Thank you all. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.